of our pride program is the blue tickets and when a staff member um, catches a student doing something showing their pride um, they might be awarded a blue ticket and the blue ticket we we check off which category that they showed pride whether it was showing the effort or being respectful and the student brings that pride ticket into the pride bin in the office and then their name is announced either the next day over the morning announcements or it might be announced during their lunch period and they'll receive a certificate with a pencil and they will also receive a phone call home to their families um, sharing their wonderful behavior and what they did to show their pride. We started our PBIS program approximately five years ago here at Quakertown Elementary. We've devoted a lot of time into generating lessons, creating expectations, and really building the foundation for what PRIDE stands for. So our PRIDE lessons actually begin on the first day of school, and our team has generated a variety of lessons through picture books, activities, and videos modeling appropriate and inappropriate behavior. Within those lessons, we model the appropriate behavior and then lay that as the foundation for what the expectation is. Those expectations are then posted throughout the building. The kids reference them, the staff reference them, and then that's what's expected throughout the school year based on what we have taught them starting by day one in that beginning of the year. We also recognize students on a monthly basis as well where each teacher nominates two students per classroom that exhibit pride on a daily basis. They receive a certificate, they receive a special QE prize such as a panther or a mug or a QE cup and their parents are also invited to the assembly. We have a great time recognizing them and showing what role models they are where we can celebrate all the students at QE and how they show pride on a daily basis. Today we are doing Pride Talk. We'll start out by talking about the first letter in Pride, the letter P. stands for not giving up and staying with the tasks. Why perseverance is so important in the hallway? How to show perseverance in the hallway is by not running and being quiet. You can show perseverance during this time by paying attention to what is important. Respect at QE is big. And that is because you have to show it to everyone. Respect is more than just a word. It's an action you take to do good. Respect that QE sounds like team spirit. Respect the QE sounds like good job, great work, or silence when someone is speaking. Respect that QE sounds like good job when a friend does something to make the world a better place. In control in the cafeteria means that you have to sit in your seat and you have to use walking feet. This is what not to do at lunch. This is the in control thing to do at lunch. Hi, Julie. Dependability is being a role model by following the directions the first time given. Dependability is knowing you can believe and lean on someone. Trying your best even when it's tough. 